Ascochytal leaf blight is a common foliar disease caused by the fungi Ascochyta belonging to the phylum Ascomycota. This fungus can infect crops such as lentil, faba bean, chickpea, field pea, cow pea, and green and dry beans. Ascochyta blight in lentil is caused by the pathogen Ascochyta lentis. This fungus thrives in cool and humid conditions, particularly following a period of wet weather. These conditions promote the spread of spores, which are dispersed by free water in the form of rain, windblown mist, and splashes on droplets of foliage. Ascochyta leaf blight can also be spread by the presence of infected seeds and plant residues in the field. Ascochyta lentis can survive as mycelia or reproductive structures and plant residues that are left in the soil for up to three years. Lentil plants are susceptible to ascochyta leaf blight at any growth stage, from seed to seedling to maturity. The disease can affect all above ground plant parts, causing tan spot-like lesions that have dark margins. These lesions will sometimes contain tiny black pycnidia that are characteristics of the disease. These disease symptoms tend to appear as small patches of blighted plants in a field. Stem and leaf lesions can spread to the pods of pulse plants, and lesions can also cause the seeds inside the pods to become infected. Infected seeds are often shriveled and discolored, although they may remain without symptoms. Ascochyta blight in lentils made its first appearance in Canada in 1978 and has since become a prominent pest for lentil producers across the country. Ascochyta in lentils can cause significant yield losses and quality downgrading due to infected seeds that appeared shriveled or discolored. Infected plants can cause as much as 70% yield losses in a crop. Infected seeds sometimes appear asymptomatically and could be mixed with other healthy seeds. Spore transmission is another pathway to spread the disease from infected seed to other parts of the seedling. In Canada, seed testing is considered to be one of the most practical ways of detecting diseased seeds. Other researches on managing ascochyta blight in lentil are focused on seed treatment. In evaluation of managing seed-borne pathogen ascochyta lentis, the results of using captain and thyram have shown either slight or insignificant increases in seedling emergence and green yield. Meanwhile, experiment also showed using the combination of thiobendazole and bendamol to treat highly infected seeds could significantly improve field emergence and reduce the incidence of plant infection. The pathogen will go through a polycyclic life cycle by repeating the sporulation and dispersals of the corneal spores, causing them to spread in the field. Ascochyta lentis will produce cornelia to release corneal spores. In addition, this pathogen may also overwinter as pseudoecia on plant residues and then release ascospores when the conditions are favorable. This reproduction cycle enhances the genotypic diversity of the pathogen and therefore will result in more evolutionary advantages. Due to ascospores can survive in the crop residue for a long period of time and potentially contaminate the soil, avoid use farmland that may contain infected crop residue is an important approach for managing ascochyta blight in lentil. Varietal resistance against ascochyta blight in lentil. Researchers on genetic resistance against ascochyta blight in lentil successfully identified several lines or cultivars of lentil that carry the resistant genes against the disease. Those genes have been successfully introduced to commercial lentil cultivars in Western Canada. Currently, almost all commercial cultivars of lentil available for producers have moderate resistance to ascochyta blight. Growing lentil cultivars with disease resistance can prevent yield loss by mitigating disease incidence in severity when the disease is present in the field. Also, it helps to reduce frequency of fungicide applications and reduce disease management cost. It is a very useful disease control method, especially when it's combined with other control measures such as chemical and cultural controls. Ascochyta blight resistance used in lentil cultivar is qualitative resistance. This means the resistance against the disease is controlled by single or few genes. It makes the disease resistance in lentil vulnerable to be broken down by rhizomorvarian races or new path type in pathogen Ascochyta lentis.